So here we have the Camera Motion Research Blackbird. I've already opened this unit up. This is a kit version. It comes with a bag and some other things inside as opposed to the basic version. It's just much um, you know, cheaper to get everything together as opposed to separate. Uh, this is not how they packed it, so just ignore that it's a little bit kind of messy in here. I just threw everything down. Um, so you get this printed manual and you also get this instructional DVD. This is an over an hour long of how to use it. You definitely need some practice. It has some nice tips on here. So here we have everything in a padded case. Um, this is like I said not exactly how it was packed. It was just much neater. Um, it's like this because I left the weights on. This ships with the weights off and this is uh, two sets of weights and this is actually supposed to flip around the other way. It fits better but it's actually harder to take out so this is why I left it like in the opposite way. This velcro used to hold the quick release plate. Some extra little things. Haven't used these yet. Inside here is the table clamp. Uh, the great thing about this unit as opposed to the Merlin or, or what you get with the Merlin and the glide cam is you can mount and rest your unit three different ways. Uh, the second way of, of mounting your unit on something, you put your light stand in here and you can clip on that way. You can put your tripod here. It works that way also. And you dock your Blackbird on top of this. This is called a T-bar. Well, I guess I'll call it a T-bar. It looks like a T. What's inside here is a tripod adapter. You put your tripod in there and then you can slide your camera onto this. That's pretty much it. It has uh, some fine markings because balancing is always a trick and you have to really move slow. It has two bubble levels. Let me focus here. Two bubble levels and two knobs. This is the top plate which goes on the bottom of the camera and on top of this. So it has a couple of different holes and I put this one here because that's where it balanced better neutrally for me. This is the strap for the bag. I won't be, I haven't really had a chance to use that, so I sort of just left it in there. And what else we have here? This is another part of the T bar, it's a slightly less wide one. In the instructional video, they tell you why you may decide to use one versus the other. Another nice feature of this is this resting stand. Well, most people call it the kickstand because it comes out, and if you have your unit, you can just place it down and it would stay there. Of course, when the T bar is actually installed right here, then it's like a triangle. So you have three points where it's just stabilized. This is called the gimbal extender. If your camera is very light, then you need to kind of push it out more so that it balances better. And this is what goes here. And then the gimbal comes off and it attaches to the bottom of this. I'm going to try to set it up and fly it and show some footage in the next part of this video and I'll let you know how easy or how hard it is, what issues I have. Okay, see you then.